Matt Lauer, speaking of injustices, is finally speaking out about the rape allegations from Ronan Farrow's book, Catch and Kill. So the former Today Show anchor wrote an op-ed, I don't know why, in Mediaite, uh, lashing out at Ronan Farrow, calling him too good to be true. Lauer also denied the rape allegations once again. Lauer claims Farrow was biased against NBC, published deeply flawed material that contained huge holes and was not properly fact-checked. In response, Farrow tweeted, all I'll say on this is that Matt Lauer is just wrong. Catch and Kill was thoroughly reported, fact-checked, including with Matt Lauer himself. Brooke Nevels, the woman who claims Matt raped her in 2014, tweeted this acronym, DARVO, which stands for deny, attack, reverse victim and offender. Just for reference, according to the professor who came up with Darvo, it's when the perpetrator adopts the victim role and accuses the true victim of being an offender. It's a great, great name. I gotta be honest here. No one wants to hear from you, Matt Lauer. No one. Uh, Al, were you hungry for some op-ed, uh, Matt Lauer? Uh, you know, we don't have a ton of time and I wanna hear what B. London has to say about this, so I'll just say this, Tori. Why is he saying anything at all yeah. when you could say nothing? Honestly, it sounds terrible to say but this is the ideal time for for this to come out in a pandemic everybody's worried about their bills worried about their kids worried about school in the fall they're not worried about Matt Lauer don't yeah. give oxygen to this yeah. honestly whether it's correct or not why are you bringing this to the forefront by tweeting about it talk about privilege that he thinks he needs to Brandon real quick do you have anything to say really quick I, I mean I, I agree with you all but he has to you know Interesting. Because he can't put his face on anything going forward. So if he can shed some sort of bad light on uh, Pharaoh's journalistic practices, it may help him in the future. But, I mean, it's a last-ditch effort. He it has is. to do it, y'all. All right. Let us know if you think he has to do it. I think he's Lowerville. I thought I had a joke. Brandon, we'll there see. There was you. nothing there. <laughs> Lowerville's not a place. It could be. It's not a reference to anything. It might be. Brandon, we'll see you later this week. Coming up on TVL, we're taking viewers on a trip around the globe, showing you what life is like.